हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज ऑन पावर ऑफ सिस्टम वेरी लॉग लैंग्वेज एज वी ऑल नो दैट सिस्टम वेरी लॉग हैज वेरी एडवांस्ड एंड पावरफुल फीचर्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वेरी लॉग लैंग्वेज एंड दीज फीचर्स रिड्यूज अवर एफर्ट्स टू राइट द आर टी एल कोड एंड द लेंथ ऑफ द आर टी एल कोड ऑल्सो बिकम्स वेरी शॉर्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन वेरी कॉमनली यूज सिस्टम टास्क and i will practically demonstrate that how you achieve a task in verilog language and how you achieve the same results in system verilog by writing a single line of rtl code with the help of system tasks available in system verilog language now without wasting much time let us get started friends in the first half of the session we will discuss how to write a very log code to count number of ones in a input vector and in the second half of the session we will discuss how the system tasks available in system very log helps us to reduce our rtl coding and our efforts also and just for your information if you want to know the digital design how to calculate number of ones in a input vector i have created a separate video on it and i will give its link in the i bar section as well as in the description section you can go through it now i am going to show you how we write a very log code to count number of ones in an input vector friends the very log code on your screen is useful to count number of ones in an input vector here the module name is count ones and the input vector is a which is 16 bits long and output vector is ones which contains number of ones which are available in input vector a now let us go inside the body of the code here i am declaring a integer i always at the rate a whenever there is a change in the input value a this always block will be executed begin so we are initializing output vector ones with the value 0 now we will go through each and every bit of the input vector and we'll see if any of the bit is one then we will incre increment the output vector once by a value 1 otherwise no here i am initializing a for loop with the help of i which is equal to 0 and it goes up to the value i less than 16 and in each iteration i is incremented by 1 now we will observe if the value ai is equal to 1 then only will increment the output vector once by value 1 otherwise no So this is how we write the very log code to count number of ones in an input vector a. This was all about how we write very log code to count number of ones in an input vector. Now if someone asks us to write a system very log code to count number of ones in an input vector. And just for your information, the same very log code whatever we have written will run in system very log as well because most of the very log constructs are supported in system very log as well. and this is the beauty of system very log but in our example we want to use the advanced features of system very log language and we want to see how we can reduce the rtl code and eventually our efforts also in and in this example i will show you how you can reduce the size of your rtl coding with the help of system tasks available in system very log language if any one of you knows which system task i am going to use please write it down in the comment section otherwise i am going to reveal it now friends on your screen you are seeing a system very log code which is useful to count number of ones in an input vector here module name is count one s and input vector is ip underscore vect which has a length of 8 bits and sum is output vector which contains number of bits available inside ip underscore vector and it is 4 bits long here instead of using behavioral level of language i am using system task which are available in system very log language assign sum is equal to count ones friends count ones is a system task available in system very log which does the same task whatever we did in very log code count ones and here i need to write the input vector so this task will count the number of ones in input vector ip underscore vect and will assign it to the variable sum and our task is done in only one line of rtl code and this is how we can do Uh, RTL coding efficiently in system very log language with the help of system task available in system very log language. 
Friends, now I'm going to share one very important observation which I did on Vivado Simulator. In the very low code, I just commented everything and I replaced the behavioral coding with the system task which is available in system very log. But this RTL file is very log file. Here I'm writing count once input vector A and then this is the output variable once. So I'm assigning it. Let us see what error this uh, simulator is saying. See the error. Error is system call count once not allowed in this dialect use system very log mode. System very log mode meaning your file should have an extension of .sv which is system very log. Friends just last point. Just by changing the extension of the file from .v to .sv we can utilize all the advanced features, system calls, functions from system very log language. And these days, almost all the simulators and synthesizers do support system very log language as well. So try to utilize the advanced features of system very log language. Just by changing the extension of your files from .v to .sv. With this, I am going to end this session and I hope that this would be quite informative and interesting for all of you. If you also like this session, please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. And in future also, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.